Hey guys, welcome to JerseyBeast.tv and welcome to the pit, my home away from home. Um, if you notice in here, if you've, if you've seen around, let me just show you around real quick. I don't know if you've ever seen in here. Right, it's all basic stuff, barbells, dumbbells, kettlebells, some ropes, monkey bars, pull-up rigs, some tires, right? Everything is very, very basic. Hopefully I got all that in there. I don't know how that angle was looking, but uh, hopefully you saw all that stuff. <laughs> if not, that's what we have here. Um, and if you notice, there's no specialty machines, no hammer strength press machines, no cable crossover machines, no lab pull downs. And it's not because I'm against any of those things, it's mainly because um, I, I just don't have room for that stuff. You know, So we take what works and we take what we can use here and things that have multiple uses and that's what we use. That being said, um, it becomes hard to do assistance work that normally could be done on cables. So instead of using cables, we'll use bands. Um, now when I say assistance work, I'm talking about some shoulder work, I'm talking about um, arms. Some guys frown, frown upon that uh, isolation work for your arms and shoulders. I don't because in my eyes, you know, if you have stronger if, you, if you're stronger at curls and, and, and close grip bench presses and that sort of thing, and uh, pull downs, you're going to have stronger tendons in your arms, which means you're going to be able to handle more weight, which means it translates into a bigger press or a bigger row, or a heavier pull up, whatever, whatever the case may be. Stronger tendons makes, make you stronger. Simple as that. Um, so in here we use bands. So typically for bands, we'll do press downs. You know, your typical press down with the band, grab a band on each side, and just extend straight down. Typical press downs. You can do curls, right? Curls are a little funny to do with bands, but whatever way is most comfortable. What I do is I grip it like this on the inside, and just curl right to your forehead. It's not the best, but it gets the job done. Um, do some shoulder work. Do face pulls through your shoulders. And what you're doing is pulling the band towards you and out, right? So all those things are very effective in building stronger arms and shoulders. I would not stay away from them. I would do those things even if you have a similar gym where you don't have the ideal setup at home. Definitely grab a set of bands because they are useful uh, in more ways than you can probably imagine. You just have to dig a little bit deeper. And for those of you who think that bands are for wimps or, you know, not guys who aren't tough, it doesn't really matter. Just get the work done. You know, it all depends on what you have and, and how you can make use of it. Um, and that, at the end of the day, that's, that's what counts. As long as you're getting results, that's what counts. So do your arm work, do your shoulder work, even if you don't have access to cable machines. All right, guys, until next time, Chris Lopez, peace.